What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Fast Five. I'm Scott. RB filling in for Jay Walker. Yo. Yeah, I apologize. I'm trying to grow the beard like back to full state for football season. I can't. I can't act like this neck beard looks good. Shut up. Question number one. Junior Galette's release from the Saints was embarrassing. Uh, across the board, embarrassing the way he behaved. Sure, yeah, I'm not on Twitter. My wife isn't. Yeah, your wife wasn't after you deleted the account that you or her tweeted from. Nasty details, some of which may or may not be true about the team. But everybody that says, hey, just proved the Saints right by acting like that on his way out the door in a blaze of incompetence, he actually proved the Saints right and wrong. They were wrong when they signed into that contract 10 months ago. Horrendous, a lot of dead money on the cap. Whole thing was embarrassing. Yeah, getting rid of Junior Gallette was like breaking up with your crazy ex-girlfriend. Went on a social media tirade. The only thing next is for Junior to go back to the Saints facility and just like throw paint and light everything on fire. If your ex-girlfriend has like your bank account and just ruins your credit for a long time. Yeah. Question number two. The arrow for the New Orleans Saints is pointing up. I mean, they were losing team last year, so that means eight and eight would be on the rise. Maybe that's a little bit of a cop out, but they were bad last year. If they're even average this year, that means they're on the up. Down. No. Oh. They're gonna win more than seven games next year because they play in a really lousy division. They might even win the NFC South and go to the playoffs. But the window for this team that we've talked about for years, that Slam championship open. window, it's closed. E it's done. It's gone. They're gonna be having major cap issues. They're not getting younger. Hate to say it, hope I'm wrong. Down. They tried to keep the window open and shut on your fingers. Shut up. Question number three. What letter grade would you give the New Orleans Pelicans offseason? Might get ripped for it, I don't care. A minus. Hey. Consider their option before you say, well, they didn't go out and get a superstar. Yeah, they did. They locked up Anthony Davis for at least another six years. That alone should have an A grade for you. They, they ran it back, they brought a lot of players back. They could have gone a few other directions, maybe try to sign a Costa Kufus and other guys, but Costa in the Kufus. end, they've got flexibility next year. You got the second to best player on the planet locked up for a long time. And uh, I feel like consistency, underrated in the NBA. Bring these guys back, they got another shot at it. Much better coaching staff, A minus. Solid B. Solid B. They didn't make any huge splashes in free agency, but like you said, AD for six years? Yeah, sign me up. Plus, getting Monty out and bringing Alvin Gentry in, I think that's something you got to give him a little letter grade for, too. B. Not an A, but a B. Question number four. Lafayette, Louisiana is? The town, man. We're the best city in the planet. The universe, I guess. They might be one on, like, Mars or Pluto or something. We got this, man. Last week was pretty rough. I think we're coming together beautifully, and I don't think you could have picked a better town that can band together like we do. Lafayette is the city. Lafayette is resilient. We're Lafayette strong. Again, continued thoughts and prayers to all the victims, all the loved ones of the families, everybody involved in the shooting at the Grand 16. As we get serious for a moment, we as a community remain Lafayette strong. We're resilient. We stick together. We're going to continue to do so. Question number five. What's the best thing about Lafayette? Well, that's a pretty long list to choose from. Yeah, I mean, we could just spend two hours on food alone. So uh, I'll just say the people. For all the reasons we mentioned in question number four, the people, the resiliency, the love. In the end, love wins. Ask anybody that's moved here, maybe come from other parts of the country like that guy. Nothing quite like Lafayette. Best part about it, though, what makes it all come together, it's the people. It's all of you guys. So you said the people? I say the family, and I have a bunch of family members that don't have my last name, they don't share, but everyone in this city, I feel like is one of my family members. That's the best part of this town. Doors always open, hands are always open for shaking, and hugs are always going around. I love this place. Everybody remain Lafayette strong. For Fast Five, I'm Scott Prather, that's RB. We'll see you next week on ESPN 1420 and ESPN1420.com.